All right, let's go, Papa. Damn, big ol' pipa. That resonated though. Where that little one right there? Yeah, dude, you're just gonna be stupid loud. This is probably, if not the loudest exhaust you can get on the tank gen, right? Hey, let me see your big pipes, dude. <laughs> Sheesh. So what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually gonna be installing a new exhaust on Hector's 10th gen SI. It's 2018. Right now he has a Type R retrofit exhaust on it, but it's not that loud as you can see on the clip. It's pretty quiet. It gets the job done though. It has really good flow, better than stock, but homeboy wants it louder. <laughs> My bad, Papa. Let's buy me a new exhaust. Here they are. Well, okay, it's the other one's the SP. This is the Gretty DDR. Shout out Gretty. All right. Shout out Pro Civic for. Let me see that real quick though. Oh, you got yours from Pro Civic? Pro Civic, yeah. Perfect, dude. Okay. So, so the difference between this one and the SP is the one has two giant mufflers, obviously, the, or the ball sack is. It's like we call it the nut sack exhaust. Call it. So these are two different mufflers in itself. Oh, oh, so it has the a built-in muffler system. Uh -huh. In each one. Already. Okay, you know what? I honestly thought this was more like a straight, straight pipe because it's what it looked like. Uh -huh. But now that I'm getting a better look at it, and I wonder if that's why a lot of people stayed away from it. Probably. Because this one already has the built-in mufflers in it. Let me see it again from the inside. Hold on. A low key. This is gonna be louder than mine, but it's gonna sound really good. <laughs> yep. It's gonna sound really good. And then, as the difference from yours, yours was just clamps. Yeah, mine was, was a v, uh, v clamps. Those V clamps, so mine are actual gaskets bolts. And gaskets bolts. and bolts. So, this should be fun. It'll be done quick. When we did the exhaust on the, on the white one over there, on mine, we did it pretty quick in about maybe an hour. An hour and a half, I think. I think the hardest thing was just putting it on the car. Yeah. <laughs> so, real quick, as you guys know, Hector likes loud exhaust. So, open down pipe bucket. Open down the uh, dump tube? Yep. All right. So, just by looking at it, Hector, do you see anything? Nope, it's the same. Really? Yep, they just didn't use the two ones that are here. Looks like it was extended to fit. It's like I'm picking. You're fucking. It's like I'm picking plants from the floor, dude. <laughs> you can pick this plant too. <laughs> the eggplant. The eggplant. All right. So just like the other install, guys, you gotta. You're supposed to take that out, but all we really did was just bend it down. Bro, this shit has a fat exhaust leak. Does it really? Yeah. Here, here. How do you know? Uh, Cause everywhere around the fucking part here is black. <laughs> So, oh, I see it. All of that black stuff is an exhaust leak. So, yeah. Do you think it's because, oh, well, we'll figure it out when the gasket goes on. We'll figure it out if there's a gasket even on there. <laughs> Hector got the car with, used with the Type R exhaust on it. So if anything doesn't come out how it's supposed to be, it's because of that. But it wasn't me, I swear. But it's pretty straightforward. Like, it's the same steps and procedures that you would need to do on the coupe when I did on my last full race exhaust. Then on here. Okay. Those are 14s? 14s, yeah. Two of them? Four. Three. Four. Three? Okay. Oh no, those. Trace, three for my non Spanish speaking audience. <laughs> you know what's funny? Bam. So now we just need English. <laughs> That's it. Really? Yep. Oh, that's right. It's all one piece. <laughs> it's the install that. That was requires more what did, did we do the rear first? We did. I don't remember. I just remember you blew up my WD-40. That was my WD-40, asshole. Well, that's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Tell me when to stop. Come on. 
All right. And that's why it was burning, huh? Yeah. That might explain why you did feel like you were losing power. Because you say you drove mine and you're like, there's a difference, huh? Yep. And I know I had like an intent and exhaust from add that much difference, but then I drove it stock too. And it was, it was a noticeable difference. Yeah. So, Hector, before we move on. For sale. Information on this type R exhaust. For sale. 400, 400 OVO. OVO. It's fitted for a sedan, so it's got extra welders or hangers. There's a Type R. OE hanger here, but you have your mid one here, and then you reuse these two, and then these were added on for to fit the sedan. No shipping. Everything is local pickup only. Yeah. Can't fit it in the sedan anymore. <laughs> Unless I took it off in the parking lot. <laughs> this is gonna be sick, dude. Como? <laughs> You're in a Gatling gun? Two, 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 two. It's a cockling gun. Cockling gun? <laughs> hey, wait. <sighs> so that one, that one, and this one, and these two. Yep. Does it? It's really easy. Dude, these welds though. Ooh. These are nice. So that goes back here. I'm not gonna lie, the quality of this looks a little better than the full race. You think so? I think so. Well, full race and Greddy, two complete different companies. Greddy's bigger. True. Greddy's a bigger uh, a bigger brand. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get this going. All right, uh... Let me grab. Let me see what size they are. Finish it up. Are we dragging it on it? Yeah. Lift it a little bit though. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get underneath. Is the other gasket in there? Yeah, I have it up here. Okay. Do you want me to get in the middle? Sure. So you can have a better hold of it? I got it. It's not that bad. All right, guys. All right. Everything's on. This is how she looks. Moment of truth. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. All right. Check for exhaust leaks real quick. Yeah. <laughs> His dad's making fun of us because we're two big guys in a small Civic. <laughs> but does he have an exhaust? <laughs> nope. But he has a V8. Fuck his V8. You're definitely gonna be able to hear the rev hang now. Oh, that's the worst. Definitely, I think a boost leak with that exhaust. Really? Yeah. I'll get out right here. That sounds pretty good.
I still prefer my full race, but it sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Gretty, hats off, or oh, hair off if I can cut it. Sounds really good. It sounds really good. <laughs> sounds pretty good. Definitely smell it. You can definitely smell it. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Just like we did on the last video for uh, the full race, uh, we're going to be doing some flybys, outside revs, and uh, what's it called? I'm going to hang the GoPro from outside the car. That way you guys can hear the quality and the sound of this uh, Grady exhaust. So I'll see you guys in another video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that like button. Remember, two SIs on the channel. You got the coupe and we've got the sedan. So should be a good one for any future content. So I'll see you guys in another video. You guys have a good day. Peace. One in each hole. One in each hole. <laughs>